in the garden of the grounds. And Leonardo and Lucia both gave Father Christmas a great big hug. And Father Christmas said, Thank you so much for helping me. I'd have been lost without you and Dragon Fantastic. And thank you for bringing Dora home as well. But her mummy and daddy would have been so worried about her. And Leonardo and Lucia said, Ah, oh, it was lovely to see you and to have an adventure with you. And then they gave Father Christmas another hug. And then they ran into the house and they climbed into their beds. Their stockings were still empty. Oh, dear, said Leonardo. Oh, said Lucia, we forgot to deliver any presents to us. Oh, oh, Leonardo yawned and Lucia yawned. And she said, oh, well, we had a really nice present, really, because we rode all that way with Father Christmas. Yes, said Leonardo. That night is here. And they both fell asleep. In the morning, they woke up and they found their stockings were stuffed with presents. Father Christmas had been, after all. Oh, he must have snuck in after we were asleep, said Leonardo. Yes, said Lucia. Good old Father Christmas. They looked out of the window, and Dragon Fantastic was in the garden. Happy Christmas, Dragon Fantastic, they shouted. Did you get, did you get Santa back? Did you get Father Christmas back to the North Pole? Did you get Father Christmas back to the North Pole safely? Yes, said Dragon Fantastic, I did. And I had another big bowl of hot chocolate. And then I flew back here. Happy Christmas, children. Happy Christmas, Dragon Fantastic. We're looking forward to lots more adventures with you next year. And that's the end of the story about Lucia and Leonardo and Dragon Fantastic and how they helped Father Christmas save Christmas. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas, Leonardo and Lucia, our Mummy and Daddy and Lobo and Floki and Helga. I hope you all have a lovely time. I wish we could be with you. And I'll look forward to seeing you soon. Love you heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps. Bye-bye.